What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Never the Girl 11, back with another P.O. to pick up this video. And today, we're going to have two days for you guys, but right quick before we get started. Actually, I think we might have three because we're going to do the whole event. But real quick, before we get started, I have finally done it. I have created a squad for anybody who just wants to join. You guys have been asking me for literally years, like not even joking, since I've like started the channel. So, uh, yeah, here it is. Um... Make sure to sub to the channel. Let me change that uh, description. It says ride to the channel. I meant to put sub to the channel. There we go. At Never to Go Relevant. So make sure you guys, before you join the wall, you are sub to the channel. Let's save those changes. And uh, yeah, tell your friends, tell your mama. They can all join it. Here's the clan name. It should be open, I believe. It's public. Uh... Yeah, no trophy requirements, and it should be public. So there we go. That's the uh, the squad name. I was going to say the YouTube name. And um, yeah, here's the event. We're, we haven't started it, but we're going to get it started kind of late. And uh, yeah, guys, let's just, let's just get right into the video. So I know I haven't uploaded in a while. My bad. It's been like three weeks, almost a month. Uh, so yeah, let's just hit start and get it started. Uh, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and you like the video. I'd really appreciate that. And that keeps me going. You see, the thing is, honestly, guys, I know I have school and work and stuff and that's what mostly keeps me busy. But the main reason why, like, I, like say I miss one upload, then I'll be like, okay, I got to upload. I got to upload. But then I'll look and I'll be like, well, nobody even like subscribed from the last video. So what's the point? You know, like I know. You know, I upload it because it's fun and I enjoy it. But also, like, when you don't see progress, it's like, what's the point? So it kind of gets me down, and that's why I don't really upload sometimes. But, you know, if you guys just subscribe and like the video, then I'll upload more. Because I'm like, oh, okay, they're enjoying this. That shows me, like, no matter how many people say they like it, if they don't show they like it, then it's like, what well, do you really like? You know, it's kind of like a relationship. Like, somebody could say they love you, but they don't show it, then it's like, well, you probably just capping, you know, type stuff. But yeah, so just make sure y'all subscribe and like, and I'm going to keep going. We're like 942, let's hit 950. If we hit 950 by next week, I promise I will have a video for you guys. So I'm going to still try to upload every week like I wanted to do, but if I, if I don't miss it, then I'm sorry. But if we hit, you know, every video I'll set a milestone. If we hit that milestone, I'll upload no matter what. No matter what I have to do, I'll upload no matter what. But enough procrastination. Let's get started. You're on vacation in Ireland and heading towards a big party in Dublin tomorrow night. But your rental car has just come to a halt on a quiet country road many, many miles away. What do you do? Get out and check. You exit the vehicle and pop up in the hood. A cloud of smoke and steam immediately envelops you. This causes you to cough and double over at the side of the road. A tractor pulls up behind you. There's no way for it to pass on this small road. Um... Sorry, you have to go around. A woman in a dirty plaid shirt and dungarees exit the tractor. Dungarees? Why don't you just call it overalls? Go around you? That's 14 miles in the wrong direction. How about I just pull you off? With the tractor? Yes, with the tractor. What else? My teeth? The woman unhooks a winch from her tractor. Mind out of the way, will you? She walks past you and clips the winch onto the car's undercarriage. Is this going to be safe? Please don't damage the car. We're about to find out. The woman hops back into her tractor and starts the engine. I'll pull you back down the road into the field and turn right around. Then I'll dump you at the front of my farm where you won't bother anyone. That sounds like a good idea. Thank you. You're very welcome. You get into the driver's seat of your car and the woman pulls back. Your rental car is dragged backward by the tractor into a field. 15 minutes later, she pulls into a farm and stops. The woman immediately exits the tractor and walks towards your car. Funny question. You didn't see a gorgeous looking ram on the way here, did you? I didn't see any rams, gorgeous or otherwise. Ah, bother. I'm sure he'll turn up. You exit the car and look around. Nice farm. Is this yours? No, but it will be. One day, unfortunately. It's my father's farm. I'm Seobin, by the way. Very unique name. I'm going to just call her Seo. I'm Seo, by the way. Nice name. I'm Kev. Nice to make your acquaintance. You notice CO has the most gorgeous green eyes you've ever seen. She does? Let me see. Oh, yeah, they are pretty green, like greenish blue. You're staring at something. What is it? CO wipes her cheek. Do I have cow on my face again? 
Sorry, I didn't mean to stare. Ah, uh, you're looking at my eyes, aren't you? My father always says the traffic lights here should be green and not red. Because when people see these peppers, they stop and stare. He's a smart man. Don't let him hear you say that. He won't shut up about it for a week. CL begins to walk towards the farmhouse. Come on, pop inside and I'll make you a tea and phone Derek. <laughs> Who's Derek? Derek's the only mechanic in this town who won't shaft you. You and CL enter the kitchen. He's also the only manic mechanic in town, full stop, so let's hope he's sober. CL get, goes to fill her stove, ke stove top kettle. Which tea would you prefer? Chamomile, Earl Grey, peppermint? Chamomile. I'm all out, I'm afraid. It'll have to be a regular black tea. Sorry, I make that joke every time we have someone new over. It's a good joke. Regular tea is fine, thank you. Good, because it's all we have. We get a lot of out-of-town folk like you popping in for a tea, you know. You always seem to break down on Fulmer's Lane, where I found you. That's a strange coincidence. Could be, or it could be that new folk don't know how to navigate these roads. They'll do a number on a city vehicle, that's for sure. The kettle whistles, seal pours out three mugs of tea. Best pour one for my dad. He'll have seen you come in. What's his name? Iman. And I'd make sure you're as polite as you can be when he comes. He gets angry when he sees me talking to a man by myself. Oh no, should I leave? Haha, <laughs> I'm joking, you soft shite. He might be ready though. He's been up since 4 a.m. working, so don't expect no airs or graces. Seal goes to sit down, but stops at the last moment. What am I thinking? Let me get on to Dara for you. There's no rush. Not for you, maybe. I've pigged to shovel. Seal dials a number into her phone. Derek, I've caught another one. Fresh meat for you. Yep, phone was again. Wait, are you? Oh, for six, Derek. Okay, I'll let him know. Bye. Seal hangs up. Bad news? Yep, Derek's drunk. He can't come out until tomorrow. He says it's St. Snores Day, and it's his patriotic duty to celebrate. I swear he makes up new saints every time he's on the piss. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Is there another mechanic? Would your father be able to help? Not tonight, no. Like I said, he's been up since 4 a.m. I'll check with Dad, but you can stay tonight if you like. Really, are you sure? Sure, I'm sure. You don't have much of a choice, really. Because it's our place or Mr. Thompson's guest house for you tonight. And trust me, you don't want to stay there. Why not? CO leans in and whispers into your ear. Well, rumor has it, and I can't be sure of this, but CO leans in even closer. I hear that Mr. Tomlinson is... What? What is he? Why she make some English? Some joke? CO burst out laughing. A rugged old man with long white hair enters the kitchen. Hi, Dad. All right. Oh, he looks like, uh, you know, that wizard guy from the, the Arthur uh, Merlin. <laughs> Hello, sir. Afternoon, another stray. As usual, Derek's coming tomorrow. Thought so. Which one is it this time? St. Norris. Never heard of him. Well, the back bedroom is tidy, so he can have that one. Can I give you some money? I owe you. Don't be silly. That's not necessary. This one mine? Eamon picks up a mug of tea. Yep. Eamon sips it. So what's your name, son? Kev. Kev, no, there. Oh, did Rams turn up? No, still missing. The gorgeous Ram you spoke about, I assume? Yeah, he's never been gone this long. He'll turn up in time. He always does. Eamon winters. You all right, Dad? I'll be fine. Nothing to bad since some triple malt won't fix. Eamon starts to make his way out of the kitchen and stops. Kev, there's one thing you can do for me. If you're staying at night. Sure, anything. Just name it. Take my prize so into the village, won't you? Dad, she's used to more sociable company than me. That's the truth. Eamon leaves. What is he talking about? He's talking about me. I'm his prize, so. I did have plans to visit the pub tonight. Mind if I join you? I don't mind at all. I figured you wouldn't want to be here with my father. Unless you want to help him soak himself in a bath. Your choice. Tough decision, but the pub sounds good. Then I best get myself ready. Won't be long. Smooth. And we got a nice thumbnail. CEO is really sweet, and she doesn't seem like your typical farm girl. I think there's more to her than meets the eye. And speaking of eye as well, but how will you be received by the locals down at the pub? When will your car be fixed, and what's so important about this prize round? I don't know, but apparently it's, uh, it's a beauty. Apparently it's a beauty. It's about all I can say, I reckon. You and C are walking towards the village pub. 
She's dolled herself up and is wearing tight jeans, a low cut top, and a leather jacket. Just before you enter the pub, CO stops you. A quick word of warning before we go in. What do I need to know? Don't look anyone in the eye. Around here, that means you want to fight them. The two of you enter the pub. What? Really? Yes. Sia walks over to the bar. She orders you both a drink. A disheveled man with curly gray hair is staring at you. You look away, but the disheveled man gets up anyway. He walks over to you. you got a problem there, friend? I'm just here for a drink. Mm-hmm. I've never seen you before. Sia turns around. I told you not to look anyone in the eye. You looked in my eyes, right in them. I'm sorry. I don't want any trouble. It's too late for that, pal. You looked at me. The man leans in until his face is right next to yours. Now I have to kiss you. The man kisses you on the forehead and burst out laughing. I had you there. Works every time. All right, all right. I fell for it. They always do. The CEO hands you a pint. Where's mine? St. Norris is ordering one for you. Besides, you should be at home. You have a mortar to fix them all. Oh, are you Derek? I am indeed the finest mechanic in the county. Fine is the right word. Indeed it is. Whenever I do something, it's never good, never bad, just fine. Exactly, and that's how I'll be in the morning. Thank you. I'll be stuck here without you. Would that be so bad? Look at the company you keep. He makes a good point. But don't worry. You'll be on your way tomorrow. I'll be seeing you. Bye, Derek. Derek starts leaving, then stops and turns to CL. Or mind yourself. Mahoney's in the night. She rolls her eyes as Derek leaves. What did Derek mean by that? Mahone is the local toll. Let's find ourselves a seat and I'll tell you. You and CO take a table in the corner. Cheers. Clink glasses. Cheers. So this Mahoney fella, he's a farmer too. My dad hates him for various reasons. The main one being he used to date my mother who's no longer with us. Sorry to hear that. Thanks. She's been gone a while now. Heart troubles. My dad blames Mahoney for causing it with all the stress he put us under. Our family farm nearly got put out of business by him, you see. But my dad got it back on track, just about. So Mahoney tried to mess with him in a different way, stopping us from entering the show. What's the show? It's a beauty pageant, but for animals and vegetables. The biggest marrow, the most handsome sheep, we take it seriously around here. My mother especially, and I want to continue her tradition of entering every year. But then rams went missing. Rams, is that your gorgeous ram? Yes, he's called Ramses, Ramses the Ram. <laughs> we were going to enter him this year. He's a surefire winner. Then he disappeared. The show is tomorrow and our prize round is nowhere to be found. And you think Mahoney has something to do with it? Yes, Mahoney's hosting it on his land this year. And while he can't stop us attending, he's trying his damn best. I swear it's all lies. A tall, bald gentleman dressed in county tweed walks towards your table. You shouldn't eavesdrop, Mahoney. Mahoney. That's so funny. I didn't drop a single Eve, I swear. I just heard my name is all. Mahoney reaches his hand out towards me. John Mahoney, pleasure to meet you. And you. Mahoney retracts his hand. Very well. And in response to your accusations, seal, I deny them entirely. It won't change anything. We'll find them and we'll win. I wish you the very best of luck with that. You and your father. Don't you dare talk about him. How is he, by the way? Seal stands up and puts her face in Mahoney's to intimidate him. All right, that's enough. Mahoney stands there silently, then smiles. Yes, quite enough. I'll be sure to let you know if I see anything of your ram. You do that. Have a nice evening. Mahoney leaves the pub. CO sits down. Sorry you had to see that. I shouldn't have overreacted. It's fine. He was being a jerk anyway. He was, but I'm usually more composed than this. I've just been having a rough time of it lately. I'm here to listen if you want. I was hoping you'd say that because I need a vent. This is the kind of village where it's hard to get a word in sometimes. Seal finishes her drink and slams it down on the table. It's your round. Loosen my tongue, won't you? Of course. Same again. Of course. Thank you. You order another round for yourself and Seal. When you return to the table, you see she's torn up a beer mat. They say people fiddle with beer mats when they're tense, so I guess I must be tense. Talk to me. You take your seat with Seal. While CO heaves a deep sigh, it's my father. He's getting weaker every week. Remember I told you that one day the farm will be mine? Well, the way he's going, that'll be sooner rather than later. Tell him to slow down. Ha <laughs> ha, good one. He won't listen. Th- there are things to be done and he has to do them. But when he's gone, that responsibility falls on me. 
Does it have to? Yes, who else is going to run it? I had dreams once. I went away to university, first in my family to go. Then my mom died, and I had to come back and help my father. And it feels like it feels like this is it now. My life is done, all planned out. Tell your father how you feel. I can't. It'll break his heart. The farm has been in our family for generations. Well, kind of. What do you mean by kind of? My grandpa passed the farm on to my father, but he brought it from another family. Still a family business, I guess. I'm just not sure it'll make it into a third generation. Then so be it. Do what makes you happy. Thanks. I needed someone to say that. Seal cleans glasses with you. You're a straight shooter. I like it. Seal finishes her drink and stands up. Right. Enough of the sob story. Get up. I can't take another drink yet. Why? Where are we going? We're going to dance. That's where. Seal walks over to the pub's jukebox and selects an upbeat track. Come on, then. What are you waiting for? I'm not much of a dancer. Get up and dance. Mm. Get up and dance. The two of you dance together to some Irish folk music. After a few songs, Seal collapses into your arms. I'm not as fit as I thought. Seal looks up at you. Caught by those eyes again, are you? Just a little. And what are they saying? Stop or go? Kiss Seal. You lean in to kiss Seal, but she pulls away. Not here. Seal takes your hand and walks you outside. The two of you make out passionately in front of the pub. Seal pulls away once more. I have a question for you. Where do you want to sleep tonight? There's the spare room, which is right next to my father's bedroom. Or there's the barn, which is secluded, where you can make all the noise you want. The barn sounds nice. Does it now? We'll see. I have a feeling you'll be in the guest bedroom eventually. Just not too soon, I hope. You and Seal walk away from the pub, hand in hand. On your way back, you spot Derek squinting over a wall. That's Derek. Look, Seal looks over at the mechanic. Derek, what are you... What are you doing peeping over that wall? Not spraying on anyone, are you? No, darling, come look. I think it's Ramses. Seal walks over to the wall. Oh, you bastard. Mahoney, you utter bastard. Walk over. Ooh. You walk over to the wall and see a ram with huge curled hair standing in the field. But the ram has no wool. It's pink. Wrinkled skin is covered in goosebumps. Ramses, what have they done to you? He looks frozen, a poor boy. Let's get him back to your farm. Sorry, Kev, I have to deal with this. Who would shave a ram? What a mean thing to do. It sounds like Mahoney was the man behind this, but what can you do about it? I'm not sure yet, but I doubt you'll be sleeping in the barn tonight after this. Seal has other things in her mind now, like how to regrow a ram's coat in 24 hours. Dang, rip. That was uh, quite the story indeed. I actually enjoyed that event so far. We still have one more that will unlock tomorrow. I'll probably record that along with some other date. I don't know. Um, here's all the dates we have unlocked. We unlock another one t tonight as well from the login. And then I have almost 400 gems, so I can unlock like four extra dates. But out of any one of these that we already have unlocked, just let me know a girl and we'll we'll do it. Um so yeah, boys, that's pretty much all we have to for today. Sorry so long, sorry so much for the long, long wait. But we're back on the grind, back on the hustle. So just make sure you guys are subscribing and liking. That's all I ask. They're both free, takes you no time at all, and I really appreciate it. But anyways, guys, with all that being said, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.